from the president this morning attacking James Comey. Joining us now, Jackie Kucinich, CNN political analyst, Washington bureau chief of the Daily Beast, Lynn Sweet, Washington bureau chief of the Chicago Sun-Times, David Chalian, CNN political director, and Elizabeth Goyton, co-director for the Liberty and National Security Project. David Chalian, I want to start with you specifically on what we just heard from Nancy Pelosi, because I think it was actually fairly interesting and nuanced here. She called the president a failure. She said he's a threat to national security. Uh, she said he's worried about his fitness. I, I, I was joking about it being nuanced. Yeah. There's some fairly direct comments today. She chose not to focus on the minutiae of the testimony yesterday. She did choose to go big picture. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking as I was listening to her, well, tell me, Leader Pelosi, how you really feel. Uh, uh, he, she, she basically, you know, just painted the president as an authoritarian figure uh, with no respect for the Constitution. Uh, and I, listen... Nancy Pelosi's job here is uh, somewhat limited, right? I mean, this is uh, there. There is a House intelligence investigation, but as we know, the House is run by the Republicans, uh, as is the Senate, and Bob Mueller has his uh, operation happening separately. So, really, Nancy Pelosi's job here is to rally her troops. That kind of rhetoric uh, certainly does that. Uh, the other thing Nancy Pelosi did earlier this morning, I didn't hear her repeat it, uh, but perhaps I missed it, uh, is calling for the Attorney General Jeff Sessions to step down uh, in the aftermath of Comey's testimony. Uh, Jackie, to you, there was a stunning sort of overarching moment when you look at, at all of the Comey testimony and what lawmakers did with it yesterday, and that is that no lawmaker really questioned Comey on why he thought the president was a liar. And we just had a Republican representative on this show about half an hour ago, and, and we asked him, Representative Zeldin, are you prepared to say in your mind that the president has not lied? And he responded and said, with regard to what? Do those moments combined strike you? Should they be worrisome at all for this White House? It, it definitely isn't a good sign when your own party won't stand up for the fact that you're telling the truth. And I thought it was very interesting. Susan Collins said earlier um, that one of the reasons that she's inclined to believe what Comey said is because he said it under oath um, and he testified before them. So you have to wonder, is the president going to be called to meet the same standard? Is he going to have to testify to Congress? And, you know, he might end up having to uh, talk to uh, Bob Mueller, the special counsel. But uh, certainly, uh, when you have when you have your own party not willing to the, go to the mat uh, for you on your on basically, if people can trust what you what comes out of your mouth, uh, that that that's problematic. But they've also been burned by this. I mean, that mm -hmm. whole the whole thing about whether Obama was wiretapping the president after his errant tweet really caused a lot of heartburn for the, for the house for for the house and the senate republicans and you know made devin nunez step away from the russia investigation so they have they have reason to be a little bit cautious here you know on the subject of whether or not the president should testify under oath or come up to congress nancy pelosi the minority leader there almost right. seemed to be baiting him yeah. a little bit I bet she he said wants to. you know i'm not going to comment on it but i bet he wants to you know laying a trap maybe lynn sweet there uh, which the president may have provided for himself by his own statement on Twitter this morning where he talked about false statements and lies from James Comey. The White House seems satisfied intent on making this a he said, he said with the cre credibility of the president versus the credibility of James Comey. How smart of a move do you think that is? Well, it, so far, every wound has been self-inflicted that keeps this uh, this uh, cloud over the Trump administration. So how smart is it to people are not baiting uh, Trump. He's he's he, he's acting without the bait. That's why the most important question out there is do tapes of these conversations exist? Because then that would almost make moot testimony interpretation analysis of of what somebody meant. The first most important question is are there tapes? That seems to me what you need to get the president to confirm one way or the other, because if the issue is trust, the matter can be settled pretty easily, right? Yep. The president hinted that there is a tape. Sir, can you come and tell us if there are tapes or not? And right. then we will need to listen to them. That seems no step one, and we go from there. There would be no discussion about who's lying and who's not, because they're tapes. Mm -hmm. Tapes generally don't lie. Elizabeth. Counselor, to you as the attorney on this panel, uh, some news this morning that CNN has learned that Mark Kasowitz, the 
personal attorney for the president, is going to file a complaint to the Senate Judiciary Committee over these memos. Now, uh, Comey no longer works for the Department of Justice or the Attorney General, so the worst this can mean is that he gets a note in his file and he's not employed there anymore. Is it just smoke? I mean, does it have any teeth, this response from the president's lawyer? No, I don't think it does. I think it's a pure distraction. I don't think there was anything illegal about Comey leaking these memos. The word leak implies that something wrong was done. That's why they're using that word. But in fact, it's not illegal for government employees to disclose information unless that information is classified. And yes, some communications are privileged with the president. These communications would not fall into the category of privileged communications because they weren't about providing policy advice. So this is the distraction from the main mm -hmm. issue here, which is that once again, this president has shown that he believes that he is above the law, that he can put to rest an inconvenient investigation into one of his close associates that touches on these live allegations, this live investigation into mm -hmm. possible collusion between Russian interference and the Trump campaign. Look, it may not have much legal weight. It might have political weight. Mm -hmm. Some of his followers, some people in the country might not like the notion that James Comey did something, which was obviously a scheme. And I don't say that pejoratively. He schemed he to have something goal. happen. He set a goal and he achieved it. So maybe the White yeah, House exactly. sees the White House sees some expedience there in pointing that out. All right, David Challey, Jackie Kucinich, Lynn Sweet, Elizabeth.